Welcome to Texas, everybody. I love when the good news coming in on a day to day. Already know what's happening, I don't gotta shake the A. Big moves, big step up in the right direction. The trip continues, every double use a psychedelic. Journey over accolades, divvy up the macalades and tell them boys to have a day. Give and take, and I love it again. Give and take, and I love it. Love to see the bros hitting milestones. Where are we at? What are we doing? Welcome everybody to the 2023 Pull Start Picnic. Pull Start Picnic. Picnic. We were we've been talking about this for what seems like ages. Woo! We're tired, but we're here. <laughs> we left on Wednesday afternoon, and then we got here yesterday. Just in time to get to go Power Sports to actually buy some stuff. How many miles is it? 1,900 miles or something? 1,900. How far was the drive for y'all? 20 hours, man. There's a lot going on. Oh, there's tons of stuff going on. It's like, I ain't had a chance to look at bikes yet. We're spending all the time meeting new people and hanging out with old friends. Just talking to many bike fans. Yeah. You got a chance, you got a chance. No, I don't. Not on something like that. Hey. It's a beautiful Saturday morning out here. Great turnout. We got what, probably over a hundred bikes, all shapes, all sizes. It's incredible. Yeah, I've, I've seen some stuff out here that I didn't even think possible. I mean, there, there's a bike out here that's made out of long two headers. That it's was crazy. pretty cool. That yeah, was really, and I then like the that dual one. engine mini bike. Yeah. Sidecar bike. Yep. Anything you can imagine with two wheels or four. You guys came in with a carry-on go kart. Intimidating the police officer for the burnout. Are you gonna let him do the burnout? Yep. I know we brought the 2023 uh, TSA approved go kart. Did yep. they give you anything? In a little cavity search, but he didn't mind. <laughs> we'll put that footage up right here. <laughs> what What is everybody getting? In a bunch of cool stuff. Like a t-shirt, a book, a bag, and this has like your goodie bag inside there. Appreciate you guys. Hi, we're registering our mini bike. Alright, what's the name under? Uh, the name is under Zane, Z-A-N-E. Oh, there you are. Hi Zane. Oh, it looks like you have Kira with you too. I also have Kira. Kira, can you help me? We need what's the name of our bike? Man, she's a sassy. Well, I'm gonna need some information for from you. Okay, gotcha. I didn't I just got your card. Yeah. You're going to loosely zip tie it to your bike. Okay. Yeah. What's the name of your bike? Hello everyone. Welcome to the first annual Pull Start Picnic. Just a reminder, if you have not come up to register your bikes, please do so. If you need a bucket, please come up and ask for one. Do not take someone else's bucket. What's a bucket for? Oh, the buckets are for your tickets. Uh, so when people come up to vote for your bike, you need a bucket in front of that bike. So if you have any questions, feel free to come up to the front desk. You can ask your questions. Bernie is here to answer them. I'm Chris Angel. I'm going to make these buckets stand. <laughs> That's weird as fuck. No, I, I thought I did online, but I didn't. I know. All the cool I'm kids slacker. don't register online. Right. Yeah. How, how many bikes? So, uh, we brought 10 all together. I, so I caught a bunch of mud all in, over it to show it with the mud on it. And we drove through a rainstorm, washed all the mud off. I was upset. I was like, ugh. I get here and everybody's bike's clean and mine's half dirty. And I'm like, there's a mud bit in the back. So we're going to go freshen it up a little bit. Can you do that right now? Yeah, yeah. The favorite? Yes, I do actually. Which one is it? Okay, uh, it's actually the carry on, <laughs> the oh, carry on bike. Yeah. Eamon, where you're from. So my name is Sam Mantini and I'm here with my dad, Frank Mantini, and we're from Toronto, Canada. It's the moment we got the email about this event, I was like, dad, we gotta build a couple bikes. Come down here, I don't care how long it's gonna take, we're gonna get here. Even if we don't win, it doesn't matter. The community here seems amazing and we wanna be a part of it. We entered three bikes total. So we did our rat rod, we got our vintage, and then we have a wild style bike. So the wild style bike looks like my dad's 1955 Chevy Bel Air. And he actually sold it 
to buy our house that we're, that he's living in now. And then 30 years later, he ended up buying another one. So I was like, Dad, we got to make a mini bike that looks like it. And nice. so we got to work. Didn't know what we were doing, but we figured it out. Nice. Yeah. Okay, Dad Mantini. So uh, would you guys come back again next year? Yes, we will. Yeah, we'll nice. be back with ourselves. Bucks. Hopefully, we'll be finished. <laughs> yeah, my goal is five. Oh, okay. But. Next time you guys can max out the category, bring ten. Yeah, one yeah. would have a big trailer for sure. Yeah. Yes. And around the world, and I, yeah, yeah, I seen a lot of mini bikes. Come on, follow me. Let me show you my favorite. And they're over here where the other mini bikes are. First, I do want to give a nice shout out to our friends over at Build Break Repeat for this beautiful uh, bike that we've got in the micro. This thing is beautiful, man. I love the color. I love the seat contrast. I love the brown on the grips, on the foot pegs. I think aesthetically, that's uh, that's top Easy. that's top tier. Yeah, in my opinion. Follow me. Let me show you some other things that I like. And I'm not just playing favors for people that I know. I just want you to know that I still think uh, right now that Evans uh, Pate Fine Hornet is still one of the uh, classiest looking mini bikes here on the on the pavement right now. Come here, follow me. Let me show you a couple of my other favorites. Oh, God. Yeah. Like, look, at, look at this fuel tank, man. Look at this fuel tank. Fuel tank, and it has two engines. So this thing goes uh, approximately 632 miles an hour. Yeah. Do you think your mommy should get her face painted? Yeah, she can do, she can do a cat on her belly because they do belly ones too. Sure. I know, but see, he can Look at her so she can take a picture. Hey. Evan, you got somebody that wants to show you her new face. Oh, oh my goodness. I love it. It looks great. Beautiful. <laughs> and now she wants you to get a cat on your belly. Okay. As long as it's beautiful. What y'all eating over here? Hey, we're about to get a turkey leg. Turkey leg. Best, best day, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mini bike picture. Y'all just got done racing? Yeah. Who won? Who is the fastest? I lapped him. I lapped him. Lapped, lapped him twice. Lapped him two times. We never saw each other. Once I caught him down, I passed him. I got tired. My arms got tired. I couldn't keep going. It wrapped around the floor. Introduce yourself as if you need to. It's your boy, Inner Life with Day Day, aka Day Day. We all the way in Texas, all the way from Compton, California. Look at everybody enjoying themselves with the kids, the families, the bike. There's no way to even describe the first annual picnic. What bikes are you liking? I'm, which categories? Come on, let's let's go take a look. Let's go for a little rock. Let's go for a little rock. For micro, it's pretty impressive. You know, there's a lot of competitors. I think the micro with the side cart wins my vote. Everyone's been talking, this one is so Yeah. I love the way it's put together, the carpet, the small details for the windshield, you know, the brake caliber, the live axle, the sprocket hub adapter. I, I, I feel like it's very detailed and whoever owns this bike took very, just look at the side cart in the boats. Even on the peg grips to hold the peg grips on, it's all in the small, fine details. It doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't get any better. This is Chad White. Whitley, Chad Whitley. Can you mind telling me about your bike? Yeah, it burned up in a, in a shop yeah. fire. The thing was crispy. It was burnt to nothing. There was nothing left of it. Oh, I love what you did with the bike. I just noticed Next that. we have... Vintage. We have our vintage. Now... I can tell you now, there's two standing. I will go with the Duster and probably this original Honda. Oh, yeah. I know this is one of everyone's favorite here. It's well put together, well kept, and the chrome is just magnificent. When people are judging bikes like this, it's, it's the small things that let the owner win. 1986, made in Japan. This is number eight of 85. 
I know the Rat Rod segment is next and I already have my pick. I'm not going to make it obvious because I'm actually judging this segment. Uh, so you already pick a winner? Honestly, let me turn the camera so nobody hear me. I, I feel like Twinsdale, Washington. I asked him to start it up. But if both motors didn't start and it didn't run, I wasn't looking. Oh, yeah. But it runs with no problem. So it's not just look. It yeah. sounds amazing. So no. I'm so I'm not sure what segment this is. Let me run real quick. The drag. Okay. Okay, now it gets interesting here. I will say my top three, of course, will be Gold Digger by Fast Lane, Big Mama, and and it's a difficult choice between White Widow and Flacco's bike. It's a difficult choice, honestly. And my next would have to be this big behemoth right here. Oh, the rope. It's just so massive. It doesn't get any better than this, boys. Talk to you too much yet. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was just gonna ask you, do you have a favorite yet? But I haven't had a chance to look really in the. Uh, it's, you spend it all the time meeting new people. Super big event. There's people from everywhere that come out. You know, all these two guys from here. You know, guys from Oklahoma. One of them, just one of them. Hey, somebody said it sounds slow. Our picnic it is 11 a.m. and man this place is popping there's so many bikes here I woke up saying what does success look like and I said in my heart I want to look up and see just a bunch of mini bikes and I think we've done that today so thank you to everyone who came out thank you for everyone who's helped me put it on this show appreciate it you haven't even walked around yet have you I have not seen more than this What's little spot <laughs> yeah. yeah if you need to pick a you like ran over here he was over there he's like oh, I saw people excited and I'll be excited, but I don't want to disappoint. You know what they say, mini biking. Ain't easy. It ain't it.
have enough of a runway for it to build the power, but no run through the well. Especially when you hit that high rev and then it goes back to Braffin. Yeah. Uh, you can't get that anywhere else. Ooh, what, yo, tell me about your build, because this, this this stands out, Bill. It's an RPC frame, brother. I had it extended eight inches. Just because well, I'm a big boy. <laughs> the frame is already large. Yeah. Without the stretch. So put a 420 big block in it. Willy bars. Made it mine, named her White Widow. Need to do a little bit tuning into it, and then she'll be ready to go, my boy. Nice. You guys came up from, from Houston, San, right? San Antonio. San Antonio. Yeah. And then representing the two tank in the back and forth. Posting on social media, being on the lookout, so they were able to actually find their stuff. No mini bikes, but they got the truck and trailer back. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for the community. Thank you. And next, we got our vintage class. Our winner, the Kawasaki Coyote from Harley Wrangell. Harley, 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 Harley. <laughs> you're everywhere. So, um, how long have you had this? Uh, I've had that bike for about a year, maybe a year and a half. I was talking to the judges because it's hard to judge vintage because you're either looking for something redone or yeah. something completely original. And completely original, here, right? Yeah, completely yeah. original. The, the, that's the hard part about vintage because I love some of the vintage bikes that are repainted in like a really nice uh, like metal flake paint. But then I also really like when there's a survivor paint. So. I think sometimes the like metal flake paint catches the eye and like yeah. people like that look a lot. Yeah. But then other people appreciate like the original, yeah. how much paint's left and the original paint. And stuff right. like that. Yeah, as always, you killed it. Thanks Thank you. for coming. Yeah, I love this name too. Your winner of the Rat Rod is Twinzel Washington yeah. by Manuel Roman. Beautiful bike that's got the dual engine on it. Inspirations for this build, like. Uh, Anybody to uh, thank, you know, shout out? Cars and cameras, I started out watching them. Slowly started building up the confidence to try it myself. So I was like, I know how to weld a little bit. Let me give it a shot. Been building bikes ever since.
Now this is the, this is the one we decided we're gonna get, and uh, it goes to Twinsdale, Washington. Yeah. Yeah. That rat rod bike is awesome. And if you guys really take the time to look at the craftsmanship on it, um, that's all right. We have our bike. drag class up next. This bike is beautiful. I'm gonna give it up for Cleveland Gold Digger. I don't see how anybody came to this, walked back there, and thought this wasn't gonna win. <laughs> like, like real talk, like you come in, it's, it's an eye catcher. Yeah. So anybody who knows me knows my color of all my bills have been in the red, of reddish category, burgundy more particularly. So I figured the gold and burgundy would look good. So. Uh, and it does. It caught me by surprise how much the gold was gonna cost. But you know, once I made that first purchase, I was in it, so I had to finish the bike up. So, How uh, much gold is on here? Uh, for gold itself, it's around seven thousand dollars worth of gold on the bike. Wow! Uh, wow! Bike took me around two years to finish. Um, it was hard to keep a secret for the two years without you know, without getting out and letting people jock it. But you know, it, it's a one of a kind bike. Oh, yeah. People can't even imitate some of the things on this bike because some of the manufacturers of the parts say they will never do it again. So, you know, it's, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. 1,500 miles to Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm glad that we got to win. I appreciate Go Power Sports for, you know, inviting us out. I really love Go Power Sports. Thank you very much. Thank you, Todd and Taylor. Really appreciate you guys for having us out here. Kill it! Wild Style Godzilla by John Canoe yeah. out in the back. Yeah. That's wild, ain't it? Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. When I first saw this bike, I was like, this is not a, a mini bike. This is a big boy bike. Inspiration. One of them is Cars and Cameras. Uh, I saw one of their builds with their 670. That was badass. My builder, Don Fernetta, he's the one who built the frame. Did an awesome job. He put everything I wanted into it, all my elements, did it. He executed it beautifully. Can we start it up? All right, now we're off to the off-road section. This one goes to the fake KTM by David Sedoti. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate you saying. I'm gonna take it home now. Alright, so now for the paint award, this one, number two, this one's going to cars and cameras. What? Oh, that's red! That's red! red. That's red. What you for paint the paint fit. The paint fit? Yeah! Yeah! What's your bike called? Red Rocket. Red Rocket yeah. one by Cars and Cameras. <laughs> All right, Red Rocket. Make sure to say hi to Bernie and bring your bike up. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like it has switches almost. There it is. It's like I'm moving up to death. So you guys bought this from Kate from Jeremy. Yeah. We, we checked it. the engine oil and we painted it. Nice. That's all we did. And do you? You were saying that a lot of this is original, right? The wheels? Yeah. The tires are original. The seat is original. The wiring, weirdly. The wiring is original, strangely. Everything is like, it's like it's fresh out of someone's yeah, it's garage. Yeah, great turnout. I think I want to thank Go Power Sports for doing all the effort for all this. It takes a lot to put on something like this. We owe them a round of applause for taking the time to do this event for us. Hopefully we can do it again next year. But this is a bike that I would build exactly my way. Um, and it's just a gorgeous bike. 
So Evan, that horn that you built, yeah. I love it, brother. Yeah. Except for the silver that. seat. Except for the silver seat, but I love yeah, the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Make sure to bring your bike up, Evan. All right, Evan. Yeah, okay, so I'm kind of a motor girl. I like a little, I like little things that are going fast and everything else. And I picked this bike because I really like it and I love the way it sounds. Daryl from BDMS, please come see me. Congratulations. Thank you. All uh, winning. You. Coming way out here. 1,500 miles. It was such a surprise to me that uh, I won. I was in the back having a conversation with a guy in another state, and uh, they kept hollering, Daryl, Daryl, and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you said this was a custom frame that you... Yes. Yeah. This is a, a friend of mine, Bold Custom. There he is, there he is. So it's a, a couple days later, how are you recovering from the pull start? Not too bad. I'm a little tired, but uh, I think it far exceeded anybody's expectations. It really, it was a lot of fun. Dude, on a weekend, man. Yeah. It's our first pull start. I think it was a huge success. I think the turnout was amazing. It was packed, man. <laughs> there was, was a lot of people. Uh, I think that was the coolest part of all the people that came around from all the U.S. We had dudes from Canada, Mantini, and uh, you know, Cali guys. Cali, you know, our Cali Draxers, Mini Bike Misfits, uh, Mini Bike Coalition, Cars and Cameras. I mean, I expected it to be big, but it was like. But it was a great turnout. Yeah. I tell you what, uh, you guys did a real good job you know, getting the word out and everything else. And that's, Dave and I didn't have anything to do with it. We took a complete hands-off approach and, and uh, you guys handled it. I'm, I'm real proud of you. Food trucks killed it. Definitely excited to see where we take this for next year's full start. People are already talking about next year's full start and the 180. I think this and the 180 are gonna be like our keep growing yeah. kind of thing. I'm already working on this, so. Yeah, nice. I'm, I got to do something vintage. Yeah. This guy. I gotta get away from this guy. I need man, something old oh, now. That was a team deal. <laughs> Everyone was doing, oh, you like this? And that was a team deal. Yeah. It's only gonna get bigger and better. Yeah. But no more events. No, none for a while. <laughs> Not till uh, the 180, which is 1111. Yep.